Hi everybody, it's Carlisha and I'm coming back to you guys with another video. I'm excited to make this video. I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. It's different from the type of videos that I usually make on my channel. Um, and so, I'm, I don't know, this is a different angle that I have for my videos. So let me, let me know if you guys like it. It's not perfect. Um, I'm in the process of cleaning my room. Um, I didn't really know like where to put the camera at. Um, but anyway, I just want to make a video today about my Bible collection. I've seen videos like this before on YouTube and I really love these videos. And so I just wanted to um, record a video for myself. And so, um, yeah, I hope this video encourages you, maybe lets you know about some different Bibles that you never knew about, figure out what kind of Bible that you would like for yourself. Or maybe just um, encourage you or motivate you to read the word or to delight in the word um, because yes the word of God is so important and it has changed my life and I really I really need God's word I need his word because he gives me peace when I'm discouraged he he encourages me he lets me know who he is he lets me know who I am um, and what he's done for me um, and even the power that I have and so yes I need his word every day and so um yeah I'm just wanted to show you guys what Bibles I have and I don't think this is gonna be in any particular order so yeah I'm sorry for the lighting I feel like the lighting could be better but this is the lighting that I have today okay so anyway this this is my this is the first Bible that I will show you guys um, this is the Bible I use okay this is the Bible that I'm currently using right now I use more than one Bible at the moment but I really really love this Bible it really helps me to know um, help me to understand the Bible more help me know how to apply the Bible to my life and I got this Bible last year even though it's already like messed up because I put it in, a, in my Bible case and the Bible case messed my Bible up okay but anyway um so yeah I just love this Bible so if you don't know about the application Bible the application study Bible um, this is a Bible that you know you can read it has like the regular Bible text in it and it also has notes at the bottom of the page to let you know help, to help you to apply it to your life and it has things in there that helps you to uh, um, understand the word and to encourage you and it really really helps you to know how you can apply things to your life and it really helps you when you don't understand the Bible and it has room in, like if you're a, a person who loves the Bible journal um, it also has room to journal in here if you would like to do that um, it has lots of room on certain pages the Bible journal it's gonna be a thumbnail Okay, anyway, so, um, yes, and it also has, like, um, I guess a, I don't know what this is, I don't really use this part of the Bible, but it has, um, like, you can look up a word and it'll give you certain scriptures on that word that you're looking for, and so, um, yeah, it also has maps in here. It just has it has amazing things in here. And I just I love this Bible. I have the HCSB. I got this last year and this sorry sorry my camera turned off because I had an alarm on my phone. Anyway, so yeah, I tried to, I did a lot to try to get this Bible last year um, because it was sold out because they no longer sell the HCSB version, and so um, it was like sold out everywhere. Everyone was buying it because it was Christmas time. And it, I just did so much to try to get this Bible. I bought it one time, then it got lost in the mail, and it was just it was just so much. So I had to do so much to get this Bible. But I'm so glad that I have it now. I love this Bible, and it's so helpful. Thank you, Lord. Now I'm going to talk about my journaling Bibles. And so this is the journal. This is the journaling Bible that I'm using currently, and this is the Inspire uh, Bible. I think yeah, I just think it's just called the Inspire Bible. Um, I do not have the Inspire Praise or the Inspire prayer or anything like that um eventually um i do want to get the inspired praise bible but i'm just trying to enjoy the bibles that i have now because this year because i got a little bible crazy last year so this year i said I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it together this year okay i'm going to enjoy the bibles that i already have and i'm gonna make use of them so this year for christmas i said i ain't gonna get no more bibles i'm gonna get it together okay so during the year i had i had this bible but i wasn't using it much and so I just started to use this Bible, and I really have been enjoying it. At first, I did not like it because I felt like the coloring in here was distracting me when I read the Bible. 
Uh, so it has like, so if you don't know what the Inspire Bible is, um, it's a Bible that has um, color uh, pages in there that you can color, um, like this one. Um, and it really, really encouraged me. I really loved it. It says, you are all together are beautiful, my darling. And that's how God feels about us. And so, um, this has like um, pictures in here to color. And when you're coloring them, you can worship God as you are coloring those pictures. Or you can just meditate on his scripture. Or meditate on the scripture that you're coloring as you are coloring it. So, it just has so many pretty pictures in here you're the salt of the world like um this bible actually doesn't have this world in there i put that in there i had a i found a pay uh a, i found this picture online i printed it out and then i like traced it and i put the world on there and so i thought it was really cool um this is actually one thing about it, this is the first picture that i colored in this bible so yeah this is this is one of the bibles that i have and i just have really been enjoying it it has such pretty pictures in here so this is the inspire i think this is just called a regular inspire bible and yeah it's, it's it's hardback and i really really love this bible okay so here is my other um this is my other journaling bible this is my first journaling bible i got this last year for christmas and yeah i was really really enjoying it i just i really loved it because the other bibles that i had before were just regular bibles and so me i'm a very expressive person and so I love to be able to read the Bible and to express myself as I'm reading the Bible and I like to be able to talk to God and pray to God as I'm reading my Bible and just like write out the things that stand out to me and just pray about the things that are standing out to me and so um it has like these really cute Bible tabs up on here I put rainbow ones because they're so cute and I put these little things on here to to um like page marker what's it called put a page marker on the ones that i've already done um and so this is actually the first one i did in here this was what i did for christmas last year um and it just is for us a child for us a child is born to us a child is given emmanuel god is with us I thought it was so special because Jesus was born for us. You know, he came here for us. He wasn't just born, but he literally, like, he came here for us. And so I just thought it was, for us, a child was born. To us, a child was given. I thought it was just so amazing. And so, and then I just painted it with watercolors. And, um, and so it just has basically just space on the sides. Um, blank pages. And so this doesn't have any colors, anything in here. It's just blank pages all throughout. And so, um, yeah, I just been... Bible journaling in, in this one. Oh, you know what? I haven't been using this one as often lately. I haven't been using this one as much lately, but I've been using the other Inspire Bible lately. But um, I will tell you that I really enjoyed this as my first Bible link, uh, journal, journaling Bible. And I'm not saying that I won't use it anymore. Um, I'm just not using it as of right now. But I really, really... Um, love this bible and that's just how that's that's something that i feel like god put on my heart before it's just like the fact that he died for us he washed away all of our sins and um yes and he just covers us with his blood and so this is one of my bible journaling entries um i am by no means an artist i took that picture of jesus and i found a picture online and i traced it okay I am not an artist, and so, um, yeah, I just love to really, like, I just love to express myself as I'm reading the Bible, you know, and this is, this is one day I did this, Psalm 23, I was having a really, really hard, hard day, and God really was encouraging me through Psalms 23, and so when I have a, a scripture that I really just love, I just have to really, like, express myself, this is Psalms 139, so I just really have to just express myself through the scriptures. Okay, let me just show you this one more scripture. Um, this is what is it? Proverbs. Proverbs three to nine. Uh, Proverbs. I think it's three, five to six. I don't know. Well, I don't know. This is a different one right here. Psalms forty. God was really encouraging me that day. And so that's one thing about a Bible journal. You can really. Um, 
have a page in there and, we, and you can look back at it and be like, wow, like I see how God brought me through that. And then also I just see what I was going through in that time and just how God was encouraging me. And so it just reminds me of God's faithfulness. So let's talk about this Bible. This Bible is so special to me. But this is the Holy Bible. This is a God's translation Holy Bible. And this is the first Bible that I read when I came to the Lord back in 2017. It's looking old, okay. But when I got it, it was so pretty. It was holographic, so it was like purple and it was gold at the same time. When I go like this, I don't think you can, you can't really see it anymore. But anyway, it has these pretty designs on them. And it's really old now. You can't really see it. But oh my gosh, this Bible just brings back memories, you know. And this is, so this is just, so this is the God's Word translation. Um, and I just, this is when I first started to read the Bible and start to really love reading His Word. And so, and the first time I was actually able to understand it, because before I came to the Lord and I tried to read the Bible, I couldn't understand the Bible because I didn't have the Holy Spirit help me to interpret the Bible. And so, um, yes, I just, everything made sense to me when I first, when I came to God. And I really just started to enjoy the Bible. Um, and I just started to read it every day. And God gave me such a hunger for His Word. And so, um, yeah, this is my first Bible that I started to read. Um, and yeah, this is a God's Word translation. It's a thin line Bible. It's not journal. It's not a Bible journal. It's not a Bible journal or anything like that. Um, but because it's the first Bible I've learned, I just, you know what? Let me share a little twist, a little testimony right quick. When I first came to the Lord, I was like, Lord, I want a Bible that's pretty. I want a Bible that's just small. Because the first Bible I had, it wasn't, I didn't read that Bible like that. Um, that was before I came to the Lord. I had that Bible, but I didn't really read it. That was a really big, heavy Bible. I was like, Lord, I want a Bible that's just like a small Bible that I can carry around wherever I go. And I was like, I wanted to have, um, you know, a ribbon so I can have a bookmark. And I don't know, just everything that I asked for. I was like, okay, I want a map in here. Everything I asked for, it literally had everything that I wanted in this Bible. And I knew this Bible was just for me. And it was, oh my gosh, I want to say also, like I said before, like I could never understand the Bible really well. This version of the Bible, God's Words Translation, was so understandable to me. I don't necessarily recommend God's Words Translation is something that you can, you should continue to read forever. Because, um, to me, just, this helped me to understand, like, the, um, the message of what the Bible was saying. And so, but when you when you start to understand that, I feel like you should move on to another version, because I feel like um, there is some things in here where I'm like, okay, that's not really a good version. You know, it's like it'd be like instead of saying God's work righteousness, it'll say God's approval, which his righteous which righteousness is is God's approval. But it's just same thing. I don't know. It's just I would like for them to use the words like righteousness and just things like that. So yeah, I just I love this Bible. It's such good memories. So. On to the next Bible. Okay, so this is my apologetics Bible. Um, in which you don't, if you don't know what apologetics means, it means to defend the faith. So basically, in this Bible, it's really cool. Um, it has like questions in this Bible. Um, like, okay, so like if you have like doubts or like things about the Bible where you're like, oh, uh, that doesn't really make any sense to me, this Bible is the Bible that um, will help. Um, answer those questions and also um, if you want to help if you want to be able to witness other people um, this Bible can help you as well so this is a question that has how do we know Jesus was born of a virgin that's one of the questions they have in here um, and um, this is when I first started Bible journaling too well, at the end of me using this Bible I started to Bible journal I was like okay I gotta get me a Bible journal because I gotta I gotta do some Bible journaling um, so it says, can Christians believe in evolution? I have the box right here. It's called, this is what the box looks like. Apologetic Study Bible for Students. This is the CSB version. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to mention that this is the um, NIV uh, My Bible Journal for Girls. And yeah, that's what this is. And the Inspire Bible, that's the NLT. NLT version so I like to read that with my application Bible because um, it's really like um, 
um, it's not a version that I would like to read, like, as my main Bible, uh, you know, so I like to read something that's a little bit, just like a better version, you know, I just, I just feel like it's like, it's supposed to be understandable, like, really, really understandable, and I just feel like it's something that I would like to have a, a different version, um, that I feel like is more accurate, um, which is, um, HCSB for me right now, um, and so anyway, um, so yeah, this is a CSB, um, this is, um, a good version for me to understand um, it helped me to even go go up a reading level as I was um, reading this so the only thing I didn't like about this Bible is I was using it as my main Bible at the time and I don't feel like this is a Bible that at least I wanted to use as my main Bible because I would be reading the passage I'll be reading the scripture right and then randomly it would be like it would just ask a random question that didn't always have anything to do with what you were reading. And I didn't really want to read that at the time. Because I was, I was into what I was already reading in the Bible. And then it would have like a whole different, I don't know, uh, apologetics question. And he'd be like, is Christianity, is God really like the one true God? Or like, it would be like, or it would be like, um, do Muslims, I don't know, like what do Muslims believe? And I was like, I'm not really trying to think about what Muslim, what Muslims believe right now. I'm just trying to think about what I'm reading about. And John right now like I'm not really thinking about that so I feel like this is a Bible that I would like to use more if I was going to try to intentionally study um, apologetics at the moment but if I'm just trying to read Bible read the Bible for myself um, and just like my regular Bible study for every day I, this is not a Bible that I would like to read for that because yeah but yeah this Bible took me through some hard times Lord have mercy. The Psalms, though, when you're going through them hard times, though, read you a Psalm, child. Psalms 34, Psalms 40, Psalm 23, Psalms 91. What else? Psalms 34. Psalms 34 is my favorite Psalm for when you're going through them times where you just, Lord have mercy, you just all broke down. Yes, Lord. Okay. So this is another Bible that I have that I actually do not use. Um, this is a Bible. Okay, this is the NIV uh, personal size giant print Bible, and I got this when I was getting I was getting a little Bible crazy. And God was like, "Girl, you need to you need to calm down." So then I just I just didn't use it, um, and so um, yeah, this is just like a ooh that looks nice you. Mm. Anyway, so this is a it's just a Bible like that, and I just wanted the reason why I wanted to get it is because um, I wanted to have something that would help me to uh, really help me to like a Bible that I would like dedicate to memory or like something that I would like mark up the pages and be like, this is scriptures for this, this is scriptures for that, and so um, I feel like I just I need to probably use this, but I just kept it in case like maybe I want to like give it to somebody or maybe I want to. Um, Maybe use it later on in the future. I feel like I didn't really need the Bible at that time, you know, because like I had my inspired Bible, my inspired Bible for a, for a little while before I used it, and then I feel like God was like, "Girl, go ahead and use that old Bible, girl." And I was like, "Okay." And then I've been using it now because like in that season, I didn't feel like like when I got it, I didn't feel like that was a, that was a good season for me to start using the Bible, and then now it's a it's a better season for me, and so. um yeah, maybe this is just not the, that wasn't the right season for me to use this Bible, but um, um, I just kept it just in case whenever I want, I might want to use it or give it to somebody else. Um, and so, yes, that is another Bible that I'm not currently using at the moment, or I don't really know if I'm going to use it at all. I'm, I'm not really sure yet. I'm just gonna let God lead that one. Okay. So then I have one more Bible. This is the very top of my closet. It's the first Bible that I have ever had. Um, it's a Bible that I didn't really use like that. It's kind of one of the Bibles I just kept on my floor and just traveled over it and just kept it on, you know, just in the corner and just, I don't know, I just did I just collect dust. I, that's when I wasn't reading my Bible. And then um, I started to read it. When I first came to the God, um, I started reading it. And then I was like, this Bible is ratchet. Because it was like all like, it was old and it was like, coming apart and all sorts of stuff. I was like, okay, I need a new Bible. So that's when I got this one here. And so I'm not really sure if I want to go up to that closet and go get that. I don't really want to do that. It's all the way up in that closet up there. 
But anyway, that was another Bible that I had. It's pink. It's also a God's Word translation. It is for girls. Um, and it's a nice Bible, you know. It's really nice. And um, if I feel like it, I might film that. I might come back and show you that God, I'll show you that later. But as, as of right now, I ain't doing it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that it encouraged you. And I guess I will link the Bibles in my description. And um, let me know if this video encouraged you guys. Let me know if this video, if you have any of the Bibles that I mentioned. Or um, how you feel about the Bible. How the Bible has encouraged you. Um, let me know what, what Bible you're using currently. Let me know. Just let me know something in the comments. Or, or um, give me any video requests you might have. So, yeah. Another thing that I want to mention right quick. Hold on a minute. Is I actually um, uh, made a prayer journal. Okay. This is the prayer journal that I made. And, okay. Don't come for me right quick. Because I know the sign is messed up. Okay. The sign is messed up. It's because Amazon messed up my cover. Okay. But guess what? I told them to fix it. So by the time this video is being posted, the cover is already fixed. And this sign right here should be centered. When you, if, if you order this, this um, prayer journal, the sign will be centered and it will not be touching the top like this. Okay, it'll be in the middle of the page like this here. And so anyway, um, this, is the, this is the prayer journal that I made for girls. And it's on Amazon. I'll put that in the link in the description. And this is just has butterflies on it. And um, so yeah, for this this prayer journal, you have a page that says today's date is this. And you have a little section for praise and then repentance and requests. And then you have two pages, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, um, for um, for just to pray whatever is on your heart to pray. Okay, so that's one page. Then the next page, and then we have the next day. So that is the prayer journal that I've made, and then we have a cover picture here. It says this journal belongs to this person. And so that's the Bible. So that is the journal that I, the prayer journal that I made for young girls. Also, if you are older, you could use this too. I mean, it just depends on if that's if you like butterflies. I don't know. I thought that younger girls would like butterflies and like hot pink, but I know there's some women out there who like to who like hot pink and they like butterflies. They love a lot of colors. So, whoever wants this, if you have someone in your family who you think might want it, go ahead and send it to them. Go ahead and buy it for them. Um, if you want this for Christmas, I don't know. I'm not sure this video will be up before Christmas. So, I don't really know about that. But, if this video is up before Christmas, think about giving this to somebody in your family. Okay? So, yes. And, um, so, one more other thing I want to say is I filmed a video on my results when I took my practice test, my practice cat test. Um, and so, um, I ha yeah, I've already filmed the video, but I haven't edited that video yet. I haven't got around to doing that. So, um, that video should probably be up after this video. Talked about, if you know what I'm talking about, watch my, like, last, yeah, my last two videos. You should know what I'm talking about when it comes to school. And so, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and comment. When you like my videos, it helps, um, YouTube to know that you like the video and it looks like get sent all around YouTube and it gets recommended to other people so please like my video and um yeah share it with your friends and yeah subscribe bye